The four-dimensional CAT scan, a groundbreaking approach to parathyroid imaging and surgery, is giving new hope to patients at UCLA. This CT scan program now offers uh, patients who would not otherwise be candidates for parathyroid surgery a hope for a cure. Scott Butes is one such patient. Without four-dimensional CAT scan technology, they never would have found my tumor and I would still be sick and my kidneys would probably be beginning to shut down by now. When Scott was diagnosed with hyperparathyroidism in 2010, he had many of the symptoms typical of the disease. I was constantly feeling fatigue. I was worn out, I had no energy, and I was angry. What wasn't typical was his response to treatment. Despite three surgeries to remove his overactive parathyroid glands, his disease wasn't cured. With other surgeons hesitant to take on his difficult and now dangerous case, Scott turned to Dr. Michael Ye's team at UCLA as a last resort. When I went to him, I had my briefcase over my shoulder, I had a gallon of water in one hand, and I had a jar of kidney stones in another hand. And I said, Dr. Ye, if you can't fix me, no one else can. Please, I don't want to live this way anymore. If somebody's had prior parathyroid surgery that didn't work, as a surgeon, you don't want to be fighting through all that scar tissue unnecessarily. You need to make it generally more of a directed, a targeted operation. And if you have clear three-dimensional imaging, as we do in a 4D CT, it greatly facilitates the operation. There is no doing another surgery for him. Radiologist Dr. Ali Sepadari and endocrine surgeon Dr. Avital Harari brought the 4D CT scan program to UCLA. Over the past few years, they, along with Dr. Ye, helped develop and fine tune a protocol for difficult hyperparathyroid cases. It is one of only a handful of 4D CT programs in the nation, and the team believes one of the best. I believe that we at UCLA can offer the best treatment for patients with parathyroid disease based on the combination of the experienced parathyroid surgeons uh, in myself and Dr. Ye, the most state-of-the-art technology including the CAT scan, and a very experienced radiologist in detecting uh, abnormal parathyroid glands in these very difficult cases. It allows for a safer surgery. Number two, it allows for a less invasive surgery. And number three, it allows for a more effective surgery, a higher chance of achieving a cure. Because most patients have already been exposed to multiple scans by the time they come to UCLA, the radiology team is careful to minimize the radiation exposure. We've cut our radiation dose down to below what a lot of other people have published. We uh, position the patient very carefully to make sure that the area of interest is not going to be obscured by the shoulders or the chin. We have to do some special maneuvers to really get the patient properly set up in the scanner. When Scott's scans were analyzed, it was clear that his was one of the most difficult cases the endocrine surgery team had seen. Patients who are undergoing reoperative neck surgery, especially those who are undergoing reoperative parathyroid surgery, uh, typically their necks are scarred, frequently on both sides of the neck. And so using the CAT scan is sort of like finding a little grape in the middle of cement. For these reasons, most surgeons will not operate in those cases unless they have at least one study that tells them exactly where the abnormal gland is, and ideally two studies that do this. There would have been no chance of resecting this parathyroid adenoma if they didn't know exactly where it was. And 4 CT was the difference in that case. After carefully poring over his scans, Dr. Sepadari was able to locate Scott's overactive parathyroid gland to within millimeters. Armed with this information, Dr. Ye operated on Scott. This time, it was a success. I remember waking up from the surgery this was after the fifth, the fifth time waking up for me and asking them, did Dr. Ye get it? And they said yes. And it was the first time I've ever seen my dad completely joyful, happy. My dad was dancing. I've never seen him do that. Today I feel great. This is the best I've ever been in my life. I hope that patients will come to UCLA for this. We worked so hard to make it excellent, and I want people to benefit from it.
UCLA's unique 4D CT program is now helping patients from all over the world get a fresh start on their lives. And each new patient and new challenge that's overcome help the endocrine surgery team build on its expertise and delivery of care. The treatment of hyperparathyroidism is in constant evolution and we're evolving toward faster surgeries, safer surgeries, less invasive surgeries, and the pinpoint localization of parathyroid adenomas is an important part of that process, and 4DCT has pushed the field forward in that way. UCLA was qualitatively different from all the other hospitals. It is a much more efficient hospital. It is a much more clean hospital. You are in and out and the technology is cutting edge. It is on the front line and it is actually setting the standard for everybody else. My experience here was exceptionally better than everywhere else I had gone to. It really has revolutionized our way of treating patients here at UCLA and throughout the country.